All right, everybody, Chad here. As you can see, this is where we were going to put a rock right where that tub was. It was already actually there. The bird um, cages were right behind that, but now they are removed and we're gonna put the tub there and actually get a full uh, bird feeder to put those hanging baskets on uh, or those bird cages on and the hanging baskets probably as well. Had to move the rock back and that rock is so heavy. I'm gonna try to reach over where it's at now with the tractor, eventually move that probably just over right over here on this corner because we don't wanna plant a whole lot under this tree. There's a lot of pretty big roots and I don't wanna damage the tree roots because that's our shade tree for the porch. So we're going to have to put the legs on there. Probably gonna put some blocks up under the legs so that they're not sitting down in the dirt on the um, clawfoot tub. Got that for a steal on um, Facebook Marketplace and actually the color of, of it actually matches uh, some of the highlights of the outside like our front door and things like that so we really like it but that's probably another video when we get the tub fixed i got to spray the legs before i attach them with something to keep them from rusting and probably do a few coats of that but today i'm going to uh, put the bird feeder together and hang our bird cages on a bird feeder it's going to go right behind there where give them time and these uh rows of sharons uh, smaller ones and taller ones they all get a lot taller than this is going to be though they're going to show up uh, if behind this as a nice backdrop but for now they're going to be a little bit covered up by the tub but that's okay because it's going to have some annuals in it probably some petunias things like that and it's going to look really cool and bright i think for the rest of the summer so let's go ahead and get the uh, bird cage going so this came from Birding Basics Deluxe Bird Feeding System. We actually bought it at Southern Landscaping, a local um, nursery slash store with all kind of cool decor in it for um, outside stuff. And we have been happy with the other one. This is the one I did on the Mother's Day video, which I'll post a link to in case you want to see us put that one up. And um, we put that over at my mother-in-law's house to hold her hanging baskets. So we liked it so much and the one that we were using the little shepherd's hook was not nearly in the soft soil over here um, stable enough not really strong enough so we're going to use this and it should be really really pretty but uh as i said we got this at a local place and our actual bird feeders we got from wild birds unlimited so we've been happy with those as well all right we're about to stake this thing into the ground the bird feeder that's going to have the uh, hanging basket slash bird cages on it and uh, just a quick thing I noticed when you do this, because this bird feeder has screws that go in, it has screws that go in to hold it in place. Make sure that you put the whole thing together, line up all the little holes for the screws so that you know once you put it in the ground, what direction the top part's gonna be, um, you know, so you can kind of situate that. I know that the hole, I'll show you. This hole right here needs to be facing this way so everything else lines up at the top, so. I already know that. I'm gonna start drilling it down and crisscross, crisscross my fingers, cross my fingers. That there's nothing in the ground right here that'll keep it from going in the ground. Rubber mallet.
things definitely wobble more than like the unlimited bird or wild birds unlimited feeders but it's a, a lot cheaper too um but it's not going anywhere it can it can move like this in the wind which is not per great but it's not going to fall because of how this is set up but it does wobble Doesn't that look nice? And then we've got the tub that's going to get the claw feed. I gotta spray those with some rust protection, but um, put the feet on the tub, probably put some blocks up under the feet, level it out a little bit, and then plant some flowers in there, and then figure out where we're gonna take this rock to move it around. If you guys have any suggestions on the rock, um, what we're thinking of right now is right to the right of where it is now, near this tree, or maybe right here on this side of the tree to kind of break up this area going over there. So I don't know if you have any opinions, feel free to comment on those. Um, if you like this video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.